The National Flood Insurance Program is a recurring hiccup for many insurance agents and home buyers in the United States. Recently, the program was allowed to expire for several days before being reauthorized by Congress and the President. It's a key goal for the Independent Insurance Agents of America to make sure that this program is changed and hopefully evolved into a program that better suits the needs of insurance agents and especially buyers. It makes it very difficult if you're an agent who sells flood insurance and you're told by the federal government to put it on hold. It's a ripple effect through the entire economy. If you're trying to close on a mortgage and you have to have flood insurance, you can't close, you can't move into your house. You can't get a mortgage if you don't have flood insurance. If, if, if God forbid, there were a flood that happened when the program was in suspension, you can see the problems there. So uh, there are major implications with all of that, but this is why independent agents are so good. They sit down with their clients, talk to them on the phone, email them, tell them what's going on, what's happening, when it's going to be fixed, when they can close on their mortgage. That's what they do. They, re they represent their clients every day with Congress, with insurance regulators, with state legislators. And in this latest flood fiasco, where the Congress couldn't get their act together and let it lapse, everything will be fine with their clients, in fact, seamless with their clients because independent agents smooth those rough edges for their clients and they don't see what's going on behind the curtain. That's what agents do. We, you know, we have two goals when it comes to the flood insurance uh, program. Number one is to make sure that we can continue to extend it, to have that safety net uh, you know, for consumers. And, and that's been difficult. Uh, you, know, you mentioned the, the hiccups. We've had to pass five temporary extensions over the past year. Uh, and these extensions, the most recent, last 30 days. And that's kind of been the way it's been, it's been happening lately. It's almost like you're kicking the can down the road. We have a comprehensive proposal to reform and modernize the flood insurance program. 22 points we're calling for to change the national flood insurance program. Just one example. After Katrina, a lot of businesses in, in Mississippi and New Orleans had flood insurance for their business, for their property. There's no business interruption insurance so they could get their building fixed or replaced, but they were losing revenue because they didn't have business interruption. Now, if that business burned down, they would have had business interruption insurance, but because it flooded, they had no BI coverage. We're calling for optional business interruption insurance within the flood program. You want it, you want to pay for it, you can get it. Right now, it's not available in the marketplace. So those are the kind of common sense reforms we're calling for. We think the threshold amounts for personal residences, 250,000 is not realistic for a lot of coastal properties anymore. That needs to be higher. So there are a lot of issues that need to be addressed and we need a long-term reauthorization. These 30-day extensions are ludicrous. Congress needs to get their act together, do a long-term extension, do a five-year extension and let agents do what they do, let the marketplace work. At the end of the day, we have the, what's best for consumers in the back of our minds, and, and the consumers are calling for these uh, coverage enhancements, and that's why we're making the case to Capitol Hill uh, to give these uh, very important uh, changes to consumers.